Hello and welcome to the online tutorial for how to get started with your new Kubota Dashboard 3 and Actions. So here is our Kubota Dashboard 3. I'm going to go ahead and just go over all of the features of it, starting from the top and working our way down here. So if you happen to want to get your dashboard out of the way every once in a while, go ahead and just click on the colored section up here and that'll dock your dashboard. Click in the same area to bring it back. Here's the search field where you can type in keywords to find the effects that you're looking for or the actual name of the action. A keyword such as landscape might narrow my search down for me and give me options that are appropriate for the effect I'm looking for. Otherwise, let's just clear that out. We can go ahead and type in, say, Lord of the Rings or begin to type it in. And again, it's going to narrow our search down for us and give us exactly what we're looking for so we can easily play it from there. All right, another way to clear that search field out is just by clicking on the little X right there. Okay. Let's move on. Here is our drop down menu. What we've done is categorized all of our 250 plus actions so that you can easily jump to sections that you want, such as color actions, black and whites, creative effects, borders, correction tools, sharpening tools, and then each of our individual artistic and production tools packs can be jumped to right from here. We also have a basic tools section which shows up right when your dashboard opens. These are just kind of basic Photoshop tools that you most likely use every day. We wanted to throw them in here just to speed up your workflow just a little bit, zooming in and out, changing opacity and whatnot. And here's a few new things to the Kubota Dashboard 3 that are super exciting. Uh, our Pro version, which will be an upgrade, our Pro version, which will be an upgrade, will allow you to use any other actions that you may have created yourself or owned from somebody else you'll now be able to use those in the dashboard. So here's a set that I created, my Kubota Actions. I've just created a couple that I use often so that I can easily play them from the dashboard now. Here's a little combination of the Kyoko Punch plus the Edge Burner. And if I want, I can go ahead and star that as my favorite by right clicking on it. And it gives it a little star. To find your favorites, you can type in favorites or begin to type it in. Another way to do that is from the drop down menu go down to favorites. All right. To apply an effect, go ahead and just highlight it. You can double click on it or just highlight it and press apply. So we'll apply that quickly to our image and you can see all of the layers are left intact over here. So if you want, you can go through and customize changing the opacity, turning layers on and off to get the effect that you're really looking for there. All right, let's move back to the dashboard and go down to the menus at the bottom. In the help menu, you can access your user guide. Let's pull that up real quick. There are a few actions that require a little bit of manual setup on your part. It just needs to be done once, but these sections right up here will take you step by step through that process. This here will tell you about the Kubota Dashboard Pro version. Um, again, there will be a basic version, which is a free update for those of you who own the dashboard currently. And then there's the pro version. The only difference is that the pro version will allow you to use actions that you've created on your own or that you own from somebody else on the dashboard. If you're looking for any step-by-steps or how-tos, please go to our video tutorials page on our website. If you need to email us, go ahead and click on the contact us link. And if you want to get more action, go ahead and click here to go to our online store. So I did mention there was a basic version and a pro version. With the basic version, what you can do is star your favorites, just like I was showing you here. You can also add keywords or descriptions to any of the Kubota actions with the basic. So let's see here. Here's a Kubota action. All you do is hit edit. It takes you up here. I've already started from within the dashboard right by right clicking on it, but you can also check that option here. And then if you want, Let's say, let's say I used hot fudge on the Smith, whoops, Smith wedding. And I want to be able to remember that. So I'm going to make that a keyword of mine. Of course, your keywords can be anything you want. Now, if I go up to the top to my search field, type in Smith, there's my hot fudge that I start as my favorite and keyworded with Smith wedding. Back down to our help menu, you can access our before and after gallery PDF that shows you before and afters of each of our actions played on an image. Here's some keyword samples if you need a little help generating some ideas. And then the rest of these will just show you a detailed list of the actions contained in each pack. All right, on to the settings menu here. Check auto close dashboard if you'd like your dashboard to close after each use. 
there are quite a few actions that will pop up with a stop step or a message telling you to do some kind of manual work uh, with the action. If you get used to those, go ahead and click ignore stops and those will no longer show up for you. You won't need to do it too often, but if you ever get a message such as command select at step something is currently unavailable, go ahead and go here first and you'll continue through the next message. This option, the merge copy before running, is here to make it safe when playing user actions after you've played any Kubota actions. That uh, check here for updates, deactivate here, and in the About menu you can see what version of the dashboard you're using and also be able to contact us from that page as well. Let's go ahead and play another action. I'm just going to double click on the hot fudge here and say I'm not quite happy with that and I want to try something else out. Just go down to the bottom of your dashboard, click Undo. You can redo it to see the before and after. One of the great options about the dashboard is there's now a paint feature. So for any action that doesn't already use a paint feature as part of it, you can select an action, hit paint, and instead of applying it to your entire image, it applies it to your layers palette and then masks it so you can paint it in. And size up our brush, I'm just using the bracket keys on my keyboard, and then I can just start painting in the areas that I want to apply the effect. And I'll go ahead and turn this off in just a second and back on so you can really see the effect it's having. All right, again, you just paint where you want to apply that action. And it's really deepening those colors a lot. Let's turn it off. If you click on the little eyeball on the layer, turns it off. Click on it again to turn it back on. All right, and then there's just a couple more options down here. Apply, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Select the action you want, press apply, it applies it to your image. If there's any updates available, please click down here on Update. Uh, for those of you who have the basic version of the dashboard, you'll also see a Purchase button down here. And that will allow you to click on that, go to our online store, and complete your pack. If you don't own everything that we already offer, you can go there and get any of the additional artistic or production tools that you don't yet have, or upgrade to the pro version of the dashboard from there. One thing that you can do is set up a shortcut for your dashboard. You need to have an image open to do so. Then go to your basic tools section, find create a shortcut for the dash, and double click on that. Gives you a little message telling you where to go from here, but I'm going to hit continue and you can follow along with me. You want to make sure shortcuts for us is application menus. So what you want to do is go to file, click on that little triangle and it opens everything up and tabs it to the right. And we're going to scroll down to the automate section. You can see that I've already set up shortcuts for my Copy Kubota Actions feature, and that will be covered in another tutorial. Here's our Kubota Auto Album V3, has its own dashboard as well, and my Kubota Dashboard 3 palette. Just click in that section anywhere, a little white box opens up. I'm going to press F2, I want that to be my hotkey. And if there are any conflicts, it will tell you where. You can say accept to set that selection, and then say OK. So now if I close out of my dashboard, I'll get a message telling me where I can find it from the File Automate menu. I'll just click OK there, and now if I press my F2 button, there's my dashboard. If you look down here in the Tools section, we have an option called Show Original Baseline Image. I've set it up so that as soon as my document was opened, a snapshot was taken in my history palette. So by using this option here, Show Original Baseline Image, you can find it in the Tools section, or if you type in or begin to type in original, you'll also get that option. I'm going to click apply, and what that does is takes me back to the original image when I open the document. That setup will be covered in another tutorial as well. There are a couple action sets that are automatically loaded when you install your dashboard and your actions. They will be listed in your Photoshop Actions palette as the Kubota Setup Actions and Kubota Setup Actions 2. This is where that manual setup for some of the actions that I was talking about comes into play. And again, those will be covered in another tutorial.